Today's art pilgrimage has brought me to the magnificent walled town of San Gimignano on the Tuscan hills of Italy. It is sandwiched between Florence and Siena and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site for good reason. Its charming historic town is a maze of medieval streets interrupted by lively piazzas and glorious Renaissance buildings. In the 14th and 15th century, the nobility of San Gimignano expressed their wealth by building towers. What ensued was an epic battle of mine is bigger than yours. Visitors to San Gimignano today can enjoy not just the many towers, but also a wonderful offer of contemporary art. It is here that in 1990, three friends set up a cutting edge contemporary art gallery called Continua. Mario Cristiani, Lorenzo Fiacci and Maurizio Riglio occupied a former cinema and started showcasing contemporary artists. Now, most galleries would have chosen a recognized art capital like New York, Paris or London, but these three chose this sleepy town and surprisingly succeeded. Their gift to San Gimignano has been that of site-specific public art dusted around the town and surrounding areas. To find them all will take you through to some unexpected places like this Anish Kapoor installation located in the far corner of the town, or this Joseph Kossuth work located off the beaten tourist trail. All the works are signposted and the gallery reception staff will gladly give you a map to where to find these sculptures. I really regret not filming our lunch. I ordered this ragu made with wild boar and saffron, which is a local recipe, and I think it is one of the best pasta dishes I have ever tasted. The shops all sell local delights, such as truffles, cheese, sausages, and this incredible panettone, which I now order for every Christmas. There are other works in the surrounding area. In Poggibonsi, Continua Gallery have worked with Anthony Gormley to create their project. Scattered around town are Gormley sculptures, where usually they're determined by the height of the artist, and he's quite tall. In Poggibonsi, he uses the local people as the models, so as you can see, they're a little bit shorter or this Gormley sculpture, heroically perched atop the decaying Fotrezza del Casero, where we caught the sunset and this unnerving work by Kiki Smith. It is a really fun project and a great way to frame your visits to San Gimignano. This is Maya Binkin for The Art Pilgrim.